What's going on guys, it's Rated here. Welcome back to the channel today. I have you guys a brand new video. This is going to be discussing the secret helmet that is supposedly in Call of Duty World War 2. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Of course, if you do enjoy it, a like is greatly appreciated. Of course, leave a comment down below what you think of this game so far. Are you enjoying it? Are you still playing it? What do you think of the XP limit that we have now received? And what is your favourite weapon in the game currently? Uh, my favourite weapon right now is probably the SCG just because it's a usable weapon. It's good at close range and good at distances as well and if you guys would like to see a class set up on that leave a comment down below I currently have diamond on the assault rifles and also the SMGs I'm working uh, to get on the shotguns and LMGs I already have it on the sniper rifles and I'm trying to go for that chrome camo to bring you guys some gameplay but like you do always say if you missed out on my previous video go ahead and check it out at the end of this video I will display it on the end screen and hopefully you guys will enjoy that one as well but with that out of the way let's jump right into the video so supposedly there is a secret helmet in Call of Duty World War 2. Not only that, but a secret armory set too, which is pretty cool. We have no information really on it right now, but it's all speculation as of now. We have no confirmed information of it right now, but there is all speculation regarding how you would actually go ahead and unlock it. One of the ways that I think you'd go ahead and unlock it is by getting all your divisions, max prestige. Once you do that, you're going to have to complete all of the challenges. For that, I already have all of the uh, divisions, max prestige, but I don't actually have all of the challenges for the divisions on 100 percent yeah as they're kind of difficult to do especially for the infantry division there's one challenge which requires you to get i do believe 250 kills with bayonet charges and they don't always register so it's pretty much a huge grind to go ahead and get that and if there isn't nothing at the end of it i'm going to be kind of mad and upset that there isn't a secret arm reset but another speculation has been going around is that you guys are actually going to have to complete all the collections within the quartermaster now as you guys can see on screen right now i'm going to be going through all of them there is many different arm resets sets in this game as well and also different character models we already know that it's going to take a ton of armory credits go ahead and unlock these but there's actually a way i can unlock these fairly easy without even spending any armory credits so what you guys want to go ahead and do if you guys want to unlock all of these simply go ahead and get your supply drop save them all up once you have a ton of armory credits you guys are going to be opening up all of the supply drops and you guys will probably get duplicates and a ton of new uniforms in the game once you've gone ahead and unlocked all of them you will be able to complete a few of these already and if you're so close to completing it you guys can simply use your armory credits to finish it off now i'm not sure of anybody who has actually completed it so far i do believe probably next month somebody will have done it and will find a secret helmet i'm kind of leaning towards it being a helmet and a uniform that's going to be kind of gold related maybe for the mountain division it's going to have like gold flakes on the leaves and for the helmet it might be fully gold which would be pretty cool hopefully they've added something like this because if they haven't it really does suck i know sledgehammer had about three years to add something in the game and there's something simple as this i don't see why they haven't added it especially for completing all of the challenges as we had seen in black ops 3 there was hero gear and i've been going over and talking about that quite a lot because comparing it to sledgehammer games right now they haven't really done a good job in terms of all the collection items to be honest they've just added a ton of filler items within supply drops and i do believe this is probably so they've made the weapons a bit more rarer than usual and they've added a ton of pistol grips which nobody uses in the game they are literally the most useless thing ever they've added it just purely because they wanted to fill up the supply drops and make the percentage of weapons so low that when you're actually able to buy supply drops people will be buying them trying to get the weapons and there's a very very small chance of you actually unlocking them now of course when supply drops do get released i will be doing an opening here on the channel and i probably will be giving away a few cod points here on the channel as well so stick around for that because they do release on tuesday and i do plan on making a video on that as well there is also a brand new glitch in this game which i'm not sure if you guys are aware of you can actually slide in this game instead of dolphin diving if you guys would like to see that here on the channel i will post a video showcasing how you actually go ahead and do that i do believe sliding is much better than actually going ahead and dolphin diving it's much more useful especially considering there are actually medals to unlock in this game when you're sliding and killing enemies so who knows that may even result in the secret uniform being unlocked but right now like i did say it's all speculation i'm grinding my off of 
attempt to try and get it to you guys but it's very difficult to rank up in this game right now i've literally lost motivation of playing just purely because i'm getting around 8,000 xp per game i play whereas before i was getting around 24,000. hopefully they do fix it in the upcoming update on tuesday but who knows we'll just have to wait and see for that but like i did say if you guys have any information on how you think you go ahead and unlock this secret helmet let me know down in the comment section below i'm open to go ahead and try it for you guys and test it out who knows you may not even be high enough rank to do it yet you may need to get master prestige and i guess that'll be a long way away considering the xp is pretty trash right now but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video definitely smash the like down below if you did and i've got another video coming out tomorrow so don't forget to turn on notifications for that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video shout out to these people on screen for being first on yesterday's video and if you guys would like a shout out in the next one drop a comment down below i'm going to be giving a few shout outs here and there uh, but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully you have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace